Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the new Ultimate Legends that came out yesterday. Um, it's the first audio commentary that I've done for Ultimate Team in quite some time. I'm sorry about that. I was really distracted with the NCAA tournament and all that stuff. And so now I'm going to try to get back to doing these videos, I guess. Uh, so first, Troy Aikman, uh, 99 overall quarterback, uh, gets plus 2 to catch in traffic. Plus 9 to ground and pound and plus 13 to short pass chemistries. He doesn't have any crazy stats that stick out. Not really a running quarterback. You could run with him. 78 speed, not bad. Uh, all his th throwing throw power is not the greatest. 96 and 97 throw accuracy. So he's a balanced card. Nothing too great. 95 awareness. Obviously reason why it helps him get to a 99. 97 injury. He's not going to get injured. 96 throw power and 97 throw accuracy like I said. He's got 97 throw short, 93 throw mid, and an 88 throw deep. 81 throw on the run is a decent uh, throw on a run for a more pocket quarterback, such as Tro or Troy Aikman. Um, 96 play action is really nice. They're really, really nice, so if you have a good running back like AP, you can do a very good play action with him. The other one uh, that was released, Ultimate Legend, was Deacon Jones. I forgot to mention Troy Aikman is the collection version. Deacon Jones is the one in packs. He gets plus three to block shedding. He has 102 power move, which is absolutely ridiculous. He gets plus nine to man defense and plus 10 to run stuff chemistries. Uh, moving on to his depth chart stats. 85 speed, not bad. 93 strength, 88 agility, 96 acceleration so he can get off the line very quick. Uh, 90 awareness, 92 stamina, which is good for a D lineman and 97 injury. Uh, he's got 92 tackle, 94 hit power, so he has the viability to force a fumble uh, real easy. 102 power move, uh, 79 for finesse. Would have liked to see him have a little bit higher finesse. 98 block shedding though, amazing. 93 pursuit, 95 play rack, so all in all, probably the beastliest card release so far. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of these Ultimate Legends. Um, I still think Randy Moss is probably the best Ultimate Legend to be released so far, but that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know if you guys have used these cards, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.